Hi there, I'm Dredge, and welcome to the deep. Today we're playing Dredge, and this is episode 5. When we last left our hero, we gathered the Maw of the Deep, the Crab Pot, and we are in the Gale Cliffs. This is a hungry boy. He loved fish. Feed him fish. Our goals for today are to return to Marrow to grab some old crab pots and sell off this treasure, although that could wait for later. I found some of my old notes about the game, and I remember that the Hooded figures have specific fish they want to eat. Now, when I wrote it down, I only wrote down the name of the fish. And once you start a hooded figure quest, they start to starve with an invisible timer. And if you wait too long, they die, and you don't get their reward. I think the rewards are books. So, I know for the first one... I'm going to need mackerels in the Marrow area, the Gale Cliffs, and the Devil's Spine. So this guy right here, that's the Hungry Boy, he wants the blue mackerels, which are our starting mackerels. We found tiger mackerels down here. And then up in the Devil's Spine, he wants snake mackerels. So my plan is to find a tiger mackerel, swim up, sail up here, grab a blue mackerel. And while those are still fresh, I want to go down and visit him, little ghost hungry boy down here, then go right back up to Devil's Spine, and grab a snake mackerel. But for that to happen, we're going to need to do a scouting mission. I think I can remove this marker. So, our plan is scouting mission to find a mackerel. Sell off some stuff. So, I think we were going to collect our crab pots last time, so let's go ahead and do that. A splintered crab. Amber glue holds shattered fragments. A deep dweller cracked from the pressure. 11.4 centimeters. Standard rock crabs, popular crab for eating. I too like crabs. Ooh, I don't have room for this. Okay, well, let's go ahead and head back. Maybe we can return back to the glowing fishing spots. Okay. All right, wrap that up. Let's go ahead and fish up this. I think that's even a mackerel. Oh, I got a bearded one. These shining spots have a higher chance to drop 
aberrant fish. one. Hmm. I'm going to put my explosives in storage for now. It's taking up valuable space. really well with the turbo boost. going to go on a scouting mission up to Devil's Spine. It's 1330, which doesn't give us the most time ever, but that's okay. Oh, two new things to read. The Artifact Manifest. Vessel, SY, Grand Prize. Owner, Mr. Michael Schultz. Port, Gail Cliffs. Oaken Music Box. Purchased from the Antiquitarian at Little Marrow for a bargain price. Previously salvaged from an undisclosed shipwreck. Has the letter J carved on the underside, otherwise in reasonable condition. Has not been opened for fear of damaging the mechanism. Pending inspection by locksmith. Wooden mask. Cry carved wooden tribal mask. Said to bring good luck, fertility, good health, fortune, rain, and protection from evil spirits. Traded for a pair of socks and a pocket watch chain. 12-piece tea set, bone china, 6-piece cup, 6-piece saucer. Acquired from an eastern dealer, do not use. Jar of earth, a jar containing earth from a meteor impact site, allegedly. 9th September, 1927. He still refuses to take me aboard when he is working. He is convinced that I will find it dull, or that the crew will be crass or otherwise intolerable. Perhaps I am being overly needy. I know he needs time alone, but I am so desperately bored at home when he is away. He recently installed some salvaging equipment onto the boat. I think the idea of pulling up treasure is terribly exciting. I must convince him to let me have a go. Alright, so. We can stop by our ghosty boy here if we want. But our goal is to get to one of these docks. So, let's get moving. Got a lot of ground to cover. It's gonna pulse our engine. Try to keep it at top acceleration. There's a little whale guy over there. Alright, let's check our map. 
We've made it to Devil's Spine. This is probably the floating place, but floating place or not, it's definitely the docks. Ooh, who's that? I don't want you. It's a spooky ray guy. Something smacked my boat. That's alright. Boat's a little bit on fire, mm. but you know, such is life. I know that look on your face. Too long on the open water, eh? Yeah, you start to feel a little mad after a while. Nothing a good sleep won't fix. Well, luckily, I can also fix my boat. Alright. We're gonna take ourselves a nice little nap. So, the Devil's Spine has thermal vents that will damage your hull. You need to improve your hull before you can spend a lot of time around here. And there's also these little red fishies that will latch onto you and trigger an assault from an even larger fish. Which is something you probably want to avoid. Yeah, Mochi? I think we might need volcanic line, which we don't have. That could be a problem. probably need to get volcanic line before I can even do anything here. Well, oh, that's annoying. Okay. So I guess...
there's another dock over here. A man meets you as you dock, bracing himself against the wind and spray. Oh, rapturous day, a fresh disciple carried to me atop the waves. Come ashore, weakling, and rest your weary soul. Uh, all right. Your arrival is providence from the deep itself. I have been calling, and now you are the answer. The rite of putrefaction is almost at hand, and you are to be my replacement. Uh, yeah, I'm listening. Your trial begins immediately. Tell me, what does your spirit seek? Uh... Happiness? I get the feeling he's not gonna take that as an answer. I'ma take... Emptiness. Yes, a pure vessel. Only those devoid of mortality can ascend past it. And your flesh? What does it crave? Warmth of the sun, the sting of the salt, the chill of the water. I feel like he wants the answer of water, so we're gonna give him that. I sense it in you. A glimmer of what waits below. Finally, what does the world deserve? Um... I'm gonna say everything. In a way, it deserves all that is washed ashore, freely given from the deep. But no more than that. The trial is concluded. You still have much to learn, but that knowledge will be delivered to you in time. Now, your role as my initiate is to act as a herald of the Purge, just as I was for the one before me. The nearby spire, well, the nearby spires blaze with eternal fire, yet the stone hearths of these three idols lie barren and void. Retrieve three fathomless flames from the crags behind us and ignite the crucibles. Visit the shrines of the deep. I will mark them. They will offer further guidance, and I must provide no more. All right, bud. Let's go ahead and just move the goodies. We need some volcanic lime. Let's look for one more upgrade component. So if I remember this area correctly, we're going to need quite a bit of dynamite to blast open some shortcuts as the ruins will have to delve around and have a tremendous amount of... What's the word I'm looking for? Debris blocking them. And we don't yet have a reinforced hull, so taking damage from the steam vents will be a major problem.
So yeah, right here is where we can drop some explosives. So let's go ahead and mark this location on the map for dynamite. I wonder if I can fit through here. Let's find out. Ow. So that's a no. Can't fit through there. Alright, well, this location isn't going to do me any favors if I can't even fish up sharks. this. Oh, it's the snake mackerel. Okay. So this is the mackerels that I'll need. Let's mark this location and we can come back to it. So I'll put a little green flag here. go explore this little island chain. That sounds like fun. Oh. There's one of the robed guys. So I'll mark him as an exclamation point. Mark him as a treasure. Up here. Well, I don't have the right shipping line, so it's probably a fool's errand to try and get anything for him. for the time being, we'll start to head back to relative safety. Lighthouse is a very good choice for navigating yourself back to safety when you're not sure where you are. is Steel Point. I should be able to sleep the night there until the fog goes away. Don't move until you're sure that the angler boat isn't looking at you. Okay. Be very careful for illusory rocks. Ah.
don't think we can fish up. Well, I guess we could always toss one of these extra cloths. So we're not. Easy. That's the answer. Probably keep scouring this location. It's cloth. Just need one more piece of wood. tell the builder. I think she rewards us with cash. I'm not super certain. Oh, I needed metal, not wood. Okay. That sounds like a problem for mourning me. there. I guess we'll start by Something's glowing over here. What is it? Oh, a shipwreck. Okay. We'll mark that with a treasure icon. There's some kind of SOS over there. We'll mark that with an emergency icon. But first, let's go sell our treasure. to happen. Damaged my ship even further. Go me. Pose before my ship explodes. Should probably repair it. Luckily, I have 
plenty of money for repairs. Free book. If you want to get more out of your engines, take a look at this book. That's awfully nice of her. All right, repair our boat. Let's go to the dry dock and transfer over some materials. on our cargo. Actually, back to cargo. Let's put those back for now. Ugh, blinding headache today. Did you come by yesterday? I don't recall. Anyway, what can I do for you? Take this fish. Let's go ahead. Ooh, we got an aberrant crab. The normal crab is a cerebral, or common. Crusty carapace and clicking claws caught in a cage close to the coast. And a cerebral crab. A turquoise mass swells from within this small crab. The growth pulses, quickening in the light of the sun. sustainable form of business. Motion. A three headed cod. All right, Larry, Mo, and Curly here. Their three heads writhe and struggle in unison. Three mouths hang agape, then close shut together. Three lives lived as one, one fate bound to many. Well, that's cool. Good for you guys. Gotta respect our plural homies. And also gotta sell them. But, you know, that's business for you. All right. <sighs> Repair these. 
these crab pots. spots so we'll just go back sell our squid go to sleep books actually have quotes on them. Sustainable fishing, a hefty tome and laborious read. It goes into great detail about techniques that can be employed to reduce the impacts of fishing upon fish stocks. Mention something about ensuring a healthy ecosystem for future generations. Rods, reels, and rigs. Straightforward, simple techniques on operating fishing equipment more effectively. Not much I didn't already know, though. Art of the Silver Tongue. More a guide on psychology than simple financial transactions. It delves into the fundamentals of the human psyche and outlines some truly inspired tactics for bargaining. I get the sense the author isn't giving away all of their secrets, however. Smart. Oh, well, thank you for that. That's great. Well, we hit our timer, so we're going to go ahead and... Uh, demarcate this episode here as always thank you for stopping by the deep I've been your host Dredge and I'll see you in the next video if you'd like to leave a like comment and subscribe to the channel for future updates thank you very much <laughs>